The all-new Laurel Park is beyond your expectations. Feel the anticipation. Witness the speed. Experience the thrill. Hi, Maryland Racing fans. Welcome to the replay show for Friday afternoon at Laurel Park. Fridays means Astronic Pick 5. We have a couple of races from Laurel Park as part of the Pick 5 on this Friday afternoon. Ten races in total for the live program. Unfortunately, off the turf, a monster storm coming through the Laurel Park uh, area last night after the finale on Thursday's program. So fast on the main track. Main track dried up pretty good on Friday morning, but off the turf for Friday's program. Here's the first of ten. Remember the last two races, part of that Stronic Pick 5. Reconsider it 8 to 5 as the last one loads for the opener. And they're off. Street Passion and Princess Rosie knocking heads early. They open up on Reconsiderate in third position, and then it's Inspired Ocean to the outside in fourth. Mrs. Met and Stratosphera and Paris Lady is the trailer. Some 11 lengths off that lead as Street Passion now grabs it outright. Street Passion from Princess Rosie popping away by two. Here's Inspired Notion with a three wide bid. Reconsiderate is in between horses, keeping pace there from fourth. Just two and a half to close into the far turn run. And then it's Stratosphere on the outside of Mrs. Is met and Paris Lady trailing the field. 23.37 was the opening quarter mile. Approaching the top of the stretch now, and it's Street Passion still going. Street Passion from Inspired Notion by almost three. Princess Rosie down to the inside, reconsidered, has dropped back. At the 360s as they straighten in for home, and it's Street Passion and Julian Pimentel. Street Passion a crack or two, and Street Passion's doing it willingly by five from Inspired Notion. Then Princess Rosie is third as they're close to the Laurel line now. Street Passion. Street Passion puts it together. Street Passion to win by three. Inspired Notion, then Princess Rosie, Mrs. Met, Paris Lady. Formula One, Restless, Smart Step Reacts, Settling, and they're off. Toe Curl and Kiss, March Screamer, Smart Step has asked for early speed right into the race early. It's flying the flag. The inside of that is Glenn Gar in Formula One. Out sprinted early some seven or eight lengths off the pace of Smart Step. And Wes Hamilton's got that one in the lead on the rail. Leads it by a neck from March Screamer in second spot. And it's Toe Curl and Kiss is in third. Glenn Gar in flying the flag. They've got six to make up. And Formula One trailing the field. The opening quarter, 23.69. So they're moving right along, heading for the far turn run. Smart Step. Step is the pacemaker. March Screamer prompting on the outside with Toe Curl and Kiss perched in third position. And then it is flying the flag on the outside. Now moves fourth from Glenn Gar back in fifth. Another two. And Formula One trying to get going from last position into the far turn where it's Smart Step and March Screamer still prompting after a half and 47.72. Two and a half and Toe Curl and Kiss getting a perfect trip there from third. Flying the flag. Asked for a full sprint home there from fourth. And Glenn Gar on the inside. Formula One. 
one last as they make the turn for home. Smart step. Toe curl and kiss has been waiting in the wings. And here's toe curl and kiss on the outside up to grab the lead. Just out the final furlong. And it's smart step second on the inside. Glengar's getting going. Flying the flag at an even clip now just into third with a 16th left to go. Toe curl and kiss. Toe curl and kiss and Rilu Gutierrez. Toe curl and kiss by almost three from flying the flag. Closer third. Smart step then Glengar and Mark Screamer. Time a minute, 24.01. And they're off. Wiggle Room burst of speed with its a doozy to the inside and straight to Keela. On the far outside, coming to join them three wide. So three right across the track, straight to Keela. It's a doozy down to the rail and between them is Wiggle Room. Another three back and Saturday's rain tracks the pace from fourth. Thalia's Song is next in fifth and hold that kiss. And Nina's Patience racing about the three path and six or seven from the front. And last of them all is Niti rides again into the far turn run where it's It's a Doozy at a 23.13 sharp opening quarter pressed every step of the way by Wiggle room from the outside. It backs off a bit now. Another two in straight tequila is in third position. Then it's Thalia's song on the outside. Saturday's rain right in the inside past the quarter pole. Has that winning shot to kick it in. And they make the turn for home. It's a doozy by two and a half from Wiggle Room and Thalia's song out in the center of the track. Rail run for Saturday's rain still. Saturday's rain comes through down to the rail. Extreme outside is Thalia's song. Wiggle Room battles hard in between horses. Wiggle Room game but Saturday's rain takes that rail home into Carolinas. It's Saturday's rain. Saturday's rain to win by three from Wiggle Room and then Thalia's song. It's a doozy. It was fourth. Hold a kiss, fifth. In the gate. And they're off. Good break for the favorite, Tidy Stripe. Tidy Stripe carved up on the inside and Sweet Lily Lily the Blue the far outside. In between horses, our gal Mal now pushing up to fourth. Jazzle's Bequest is right there, fifth while four deep. And then Parch Ghost is in between horses, only three from the front. Under the three back of this cheerful account. Tis a deal, so to begin is the back of the pack on the inside. And Capable Lady out there, three deep. Seven lengths from first to last, Sweet Lily Love. At a moderate pace out there, 23.40 by the opening quarter mile. Sneaks away to a three-length lead on the favorite. Tidy Stripe in second and 
Carved is third. And Carved now just trying to push by from the front with Parch Ghost right alongside of that. Our gal Mel driven but dropping back and passed by Capable Lady on the inside. Jazzle's bequest and Tiz A Deal is next as they reach the quarter pole. And cheerful to count back there too. Into the stretch. And here comes Tidy Stripe on the outside after a 47.63 half mile. Grabbing the lead from Sweet Luella. It's Carved racing third and Parch Ghost center of the track in fourth. Tidy Stripe. Tidy Stripe now in front with Carol Sidney and pulling away. Sweet Willela has run a big one at 18 to 1 and hanging in there second. Tidy Stripe from Sweet Willela second. Then it was Carved and Parch Ghost and Capable Lady. Minute 12.52. Mile second finish line. And they're off. Katie's reward breaking a bit outward at the start. They're going right to the lead as Katie's reward. Here's Tiger Eyes picking up the chase immediately from second. Amalina included check is in that mix too. Lady Terps not far from the front while wide out of the track and have a nice weekend in that grouping near the rail. They're followed by Wicked Fun and last is Spicy Girl Red. Nine lengths to make up early as Katie's reward sets the opening quarter in 23.66. Pace solid. It is Katie's reward and Angel Arroyo up front. On the outside, Amalina now just shadowing Tiger Ice for second. The inside is having a nice weekend. Lady Terp in striking range of the pace up front. Then include a check, another six back. And it's wicked fun and spicy girl red trailing the field. Katie's reward, Tiger Eyes and Emmalina, one, two, three, with Lady Turp poised to strike at them from fourth wild three wide after half mile and 47.03. Three and a half for lungs left to go. Katie's reward still going. Katie's reward from Tiger Eyes, Lady Turp a little bit closer. Emmalina pressure to stay on, and it's include a check. Have a nice weekend. Spicy Girl Red Wicked Fun is last. Top of the stretch, above a quarter of a mile to go, and it's Katie's reward driving on that lead as Lady Turp takes aim on the outside and Tiger Eyes battles hard in between horses too. And down to the last 3 sixteenths of a mile. Lady Terp, Tiger Eyes shifting off that one just to the outside now. Then Katie's reward. They're followed by Spicy Girl Red. An eighth of a mile left to go. Lady Terp is clear. Clear by four. It's Spicy Girl Red with a stout run into second. It's Lady Terp from Spicy Girl Red. Lady Terp and Spicy Girl Red. Lady Terp to win it from Spicy Girl Red by about three lengths. And then it was Tiger Eyes. Third, close fourth. Geo Little Miss. And they're off. 
Ruby's Fire was first out of the gate. Extreme outside is Pure Passion. Early speed from given a chance at the inside. Petticoats and Pistols right up close there, two and fourth. And Arbutus in the Red Sleeves racing in fifth. And Perfect Party Girl and Geo Little Miss. Charming Emmys about seven from a speed. And Sharon's Thunder is last. Arbutus from in between has grabbed the lead. Arbutus from Ruby's Fire by about a neck with five A's to go. Given a chance third. And Petticoats and Pistols is well settled in fourth. Opening quarter went in 23.75 as they charge on for the far turn. So on the inside, Arbutus to the outside, Ruby's fired. Now they're head-to-head -head for the lead. In the meantime, off from is given a chance in third position alongside his petticoats and pistols still going smoothly while three wide. Pure passion and perfect party girl saving ground. And following the outside by Sharon's Thunder, Geo Little Miss with seven to make up at two and a half furlongs out. Charming Emmy is last of them all at the top of the stretch. Given a chance, sneaking through on the inside of Ruby's Fire drifting just a little bit off the inside and Petticoats and Pistols set down under a full drive on the outside. Give it a chance. Give it a chance. After half 47.66 into the stretch, past the 316s, leads the way by four lengths. Give it a chance. Fully ridden, shifting out a little bit in front by three lengths from Petticoats and Pistols. Pure falling with Ruby's Fire, Antonio Quiles falling and it is uh, given a chance. Given a chance. Petticoats and Pistols. Pure Passion, Perfect Party Girl or Charming Emmy. In the gate. And they're off. Artful move was first away from the gate. Luton Annie right there. And when all else fails from the outside, they're followed by of the Wildcat and Sip It All. are side by side and four from the front. Streets on fire. Broke at the back of the pack. Is taken out wide. Widest of them all. Improving now to third position. And now up to second. Early move there for Streets on Fire, who broke last, but now second on the blue cap the outside. And now it's Artful move just in front. Artful move going to be nursed along in the lead at a 24.80. Opening quarter mile. Eye of the Wildcat on the end inside and streets of fire on the outside another two loot nanny is racing in fourth position another two and sip it all and when all else fails the two in the back heading into the far turn four and one half furlongs to go artiful move showing the way streets on fire has been forced to that early move on the outside to put pressure on after a 48.38 half mile another two and here is eye of the wildcat stalking that pace from third position loot nanny is a fourth the others have plenty to do now when all else fails and sip it all coming toward the top of the stretch and they make the turn for home with Artiful Move leading the way. Streets on fire, the outside second. And Eye of the Wildcat set down at wide in third position. And Luton Annie taken farthest out of the track from fourth. Less than a quarter of a mile left to go. Artiful moves in front. Eye of the Wildcat on the outside coming with each and every stride. And so Eye of the Wildcat and Fergal Lynch on the outside. And Artiful Move and Forrest Boyce out of the inside trying to kick back for a little more. Head to head for the last sixteenth of a mile. It's Eye of the Wildcat, Artiful Move. Eye of the Wildcat just out kicking Artiful Move to the second wire. It's going to be Eye of the Wildcat from Artiful Move by a half length, and Luton Annie was third.
They are in the gate. And they're off. Chicken Cheese Dog, and you can never tell, headed to the lead with Charge and Storm pushing to third from the inside gate. Next and fourth is Gorse, and here is Divine Interventio, content to settle back there in fifth against the rail. Curcelli, second last, and Finbar is last of them all. Leading the way, you can never tell, a tugging leader leads at about a half length from long shot Jiggy Cheese Dog, and Charge and Storm tracking nicely, third with five A's to go. Gorse is in fourth, and Divine Interventio still on the inside there in fifth, five and a half from the front, the opening quarter sharp. 23.13 is ahead on for the far turn. Curcelli's got about eight or nine loon make up at this point, and Finbar is last of them all into the turn. You can never tell. Still at a good pace out there from Jiggy Cheese Dog. It's another two lengths back. Charge and Storm asks for a little more, holding third now from Gorse's three wide room at the rail for Divine Intervent here to roam right on through. 46.36 is a half mile. They reach the top of the stretch now. And it's Jiggy Cheese Dog in the inside. You can never tell. Trying to kick back for a little more. And Divine Interventio has been taken off the inside. Out for clear aim. Here comes the gray Divine Interventio. And Katie Davis striking the lead with a furlong left to go. Divine Interventio pulling away by three lengths. Jiggy Cheese Dog has run a big race here at 25 to 1. On the far outside is Crucelli. It's going to be Divine Interventio. Much the best to win by five. Photo second. The Jiggy Cheese Dog in there with Crucelli. And then it was. Gorse charging. Second wire finish, one turn mile. And they're off. Twin Valor, Douglas Road, and Goldman all the way in a line. And not fake news on the outside with early foot two. Conquest Sia and Baltic Art last on the inside. Out of that mile shoot out of the main portion of the track where not fake news on the outside. Out of the rail is Goldman and the matching strides. Just in front from Douglas Road will take back a bit in third position. Another two lengths back in Twin Valor. Allowing them on the inside still for Baltic Art. And Conquest Sia, bunch group only six lengths from front to back. Opening quarter 24.27. Now leading the way is the favorite Goldman. Three quarters of a length. Douglas Road has moved to second. Not fake news is in third. Inside is Baltic Art. Got four to make up. And next is Twin Valor in between horses. And the outside is Conquest Sia as they race into the far turn. Where it is Goldman that head in front. Douglas Road accompanies on the outside. The 47.23 half mile. Two and a half in front from Not Fake News. Fully ridden third position. The inside moving through there is Twin Valor. And just next is Conquest Sia driving. Dropped a sec to last position, and Baltic Art is the trailer. They race to the top of the stretch, more than a quarter of a mile to go to the second wire finish, and Douglas Road in front now. Douglas Road from Goldman trying to kick clear about a length. Another three back, and Twin Valor is third to the center of the track, and then Conquest he is in fourth. They're coming to that last furlong, and it's Douglas Road and Daniel Santino. They're taking off, opening up and popping away by five. Conquest C is second. Goldman's been defeated on the outside. His Twin Valor is pushed to third with a 16th to go. Douglas Douglas Road, Douglas Road, clear cut to win from Conquest Sia and then Twin Valor and Goldman.
and they're off. Keep your distance, hard hustled early. My sister Caro and Sweet Yarandira from the rail has moved to third. Deep Red is next in Adios and he's five lengths from the speed up ahead. Another four or five lengths back of the field, not in jeopardy. And Fly is the last runner, nine lengths off of Keep Your Distance, the favorite, flashing away to the far turn to a three length advantage. On my sister Caro, Adios and he picks it up on the outside. Sweet Yarandira is fourth. Then it's Deep Red racing in fifth position to begin to move up there while three wide. Here comes Deep Red to third and four from that leader keep your distance in fact a sweet yarn deer not in jeopardy a lot to do and fly driven in last position past the quarter pole and they race for home with keep your distance a speed to catch outside there's deep red and down on the inside is adios annie they're at the 360s keep your distance keeping them all at bay deep red on the outside trying once more down to the inside adios annie is third but is keep your distance keep your distance running hard as usual and keep your distance she'll do it again keep your distance keep your distance by two and a half. Deep Red was second. Adios, Annie. Then my sister, Caro, and Fly.